Alright guys, welcome back. I'm ready for you guys to watch an Outlast for a PC. Last time, uh, that one dude burned himself alive. The game glitched out really weirdly. And I was chased down by big uh, dude and uh, ghost dude. But now we're gonna finish this game up. I, I don't I want to say I, I dislike this game, but I, I didn't want to get this over with. Um, <clears throat> it's been more than a week since I last played. So I don't remember where I was going. I think I came through that door. Uh, okay. Oh wait, did I get? I think I get insta kill. That's right. And then it was over here. I think it's because I missed a vent or something, or I can get an event. Yeah, that's right. Let's actually head this way. Somebody's been in the pills. You're not supposed to be taking pills. It's probably all the all the Viagra. Jeez. Leave some for other people. Yay, blood and intestines. I'm not sure why intestines are on the table. Great. Uh, this is the way we're supposed to go. Open it. Open it. You're an idiot. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, that's not my fault. It's I, it's the controls. I mean, the controls at times just bug the, the heck out of me. They just do not work. Get in there. Why does this thing hate me so much? I just want to be your friend. Alright. Come on, dude. You can be my ghost friend. Oh, great. Like, what's the point of this in this game? Like, I don't understand why there's this ghost thing. <clears throat> like, I understood why there's creepy dudes because stuff happens like that. But then you add ghosts and all that stuff, and it's just really weird. Jeez, this guy is like super protected. <laughs> what is he? He's like Hitler 2.0 or something? Turn off the valve for real life support fluid. Just uh, watching. That stuff. Alright. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires the daily inspection of all vital systems. 
Vital System 1, but enriched oxygenated perfluor carbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continu continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient, potentially disrupt the, the experiment. Vinyl System 2. Electric supply is supp supplemented and ensured by a sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the life pod fails safe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functioning until technicians can arrive. Disabling fail safe will result in immediate patient termination. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Is that what we need to interact with? What are you doing, dude? This is no place for you. It's not as easy as just pressing the button. No, we have to do more stuff. I should probably turn on the TV. I have I totally forgot about it. Okay, my bad. Alright. That leads nowhere. Uh, we probably still have like another like whole section of the game. But they just want to throw in and be like, hey, we're adding more to the game. I'll be like, no, how about you just uh, wrap it up? Like, if they ended it right when that guy burned himself alive, that would have been a perfect ending. It would have been just terrifying and weird and just. It would just be a good way to end it, but no, they just decided to use all this weird ghost crap and sci-fi stuff. Cause you know I'm gonna go and like press a button here or something, and he's gonna pop back up, I'm gonna have to run and blah 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 blah. For personal records of Dr. Warnick Frankenstein over a modern Prometheus by Mar Mary Shelley published anonymously in 1818, chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my percepts, at least by my, my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Yay, another battery. Nine. <laughs> I think I'm good on batteries. Unless this game's like a 30 hour game. Sublab generator. Where would that be? Run. He can't go through doors. He's a ghost. Oh. 
Uh, is this it? No? I don't know. What's this sub lab generator? Alright, so I guess I went the right way. That was just a lucky guess, because it was closed off before. Is he seriously still chasing me? Holy crap! Okay, that scared me a little bit. Alright, that, that got me. Because I'm like, oh, where is he? And then he's right by me, and that's scary, and I don't even know where I am. I guys not turn. Why did we scare it to be so big? Seriously, the stairs are ridiculous. That's ridiculous. No, but seriously, the stairs took forever. You can't turn fast enough to freaking go up them. Alright, I know he's here now. This is like as dizzy as you can get, because I have no clue where I am. I'm just pull pulling back, hoping I'm turning well enough. Uh, where am I? I have no clue. This is just confusing. I'm disoriented right now. There's like 20 floors of stairs. I can't see anything. Okay, it's saved. And I fell down. Well, thank God I've saved the top of the stairs. Seriously, you can't, like, you, they're so disoriented once you get up there. I don't know how you're supposed to know you're supposed to jump. I'll just die again. Alright, yay, we made it. I don't know how he's not still chasing me. Oh, he's chasing me again. See, I just sh shouldn't have said anything at all. Are gonna chase me right away again? Okay, please, please find attached the uh, permission to proceed form for patient William Hope, from the Markov Charitable Psych Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive uh, Hospital in Colorado. Form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. Pierce Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding, unfounded, of financial rumination to his mother and charitable contribution to her church. Wernick, having re read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Okay. Yeah, because this is this is a extremely therapeutic. I just feel so just relaxed and happy. Still don't got those fingers, I see. Oh man. Yeah, you know he's gonna be really happy. Can I just jump down? Why would they ever let me do that? All right, so run like the wind. There's no point in even like hiding anymore. Cause you're just you just gotta run. Uh, 
What is going on? Okay, I, I sort of jumped off, so I think he saved me partially. Billy, calm down. Oh my god, seriously, I can't jump that. Kill him! Yeah, F you, Billy. Yeah, you're gonna die! I don't care. Oh, he's killing me. Dude. This guy needs to give up journalism. <laughs> Man, just be a librarian. Just be a librarian. You don't have to deal with this crap. New objective. Get out. I thought that was the objective the whole time. Oh, great. We're limping. Alright, that's cool. You can do it. Watch. I bet you that one Martin is gonna come back and help us or something. And he's like, I told you I would be resurrected. Uh, and then he kills you. And it's game over. Yay. Yeah, we only have about another miles to go to get out of here. Then we have to find a way out through the woods. See, everything should be okay. We're not going to bleed out or anything like that. This guy passes out more than Lindsay Lohan. Ah, crap. What? Okay, so they shot me to death. But I was the ghost all along or something like that. Well, I was wrong in my little predi prediction there. Um... So, yeah, that was Outlast. Um... Now, I know of these last few parts, I've been pretty down on the game, uh, but, but overall, it's a good game. It's a nice, it'll keep you uh, pretty frightened a lot. There's a lot of good jump scares and all that. Um, it's definitely up there in the scary game department for me, but it's definitely not at the top of, its li top of the list. Uh, there's definitely some really good moments where it's like, it's pretty intense and freaky, like a doctor, when he cuts off the fingers and all that, that's freaky, and when he's chasing you, that's freaky. And then near the beginning, um, there's a lot of, every once in a while there'd be a really good scare, so that's good. Uh, I was expecting more, though. 
Maybe that's just me. Uh, one of my biggest problems with this game is, I don't know if this is just me, but, like, I could just outrun the guy. And, like, I'd run up to him, he'll hit me a few times, and I, I wouldn't die. I'd, I'd still get away. Now, this might be my, only me, I'm the only one who's having a problem, or it might be a game problem. But, yeah. The AI is not the brightest. Um... Which is kind of annoying. The gameplay, like it's it's fun. Uh, the controls at times just don't react to you. The story, I don't like. It started out decent and then it just completely went off the rail, and I don't know what happened. And then it, like I don't understand. I know that Ghost Fang attacked me, so maybe he went in me, and that's why I'm killing people now. But we can all just agree that this guy's an idiot, and he, sh he like once he saw like that guy in the light, or the guy in the window when the light went on, he should just left. He sh he should just left, and he wouldn't have worried. He had plenty of chances to leave, and he didn't do it. So I guess he deserved to die. But uh yeah, so that's been Outlast. Uh, I would give that game a seven point. 8 out of 10. It's a decent game. Uh, if you're into scary games at all and you did not watch any of the game besides this last part, go ahead. I mean, there's still some good, solid, uh, scary parts. And it's a decent game. So, yeah. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of it. Uh,. Yeah, so that, that was Outlast. Uh, it's also coming out on PS4. PS4. Uh, I think uh, maybe launch day. I think. So if you want to pick us up uh, on the PS4, go ahead. It'll be a nice little game to get. But uh, yeah. So I have been briefly. You guys have just watched Outlast, and it looks like I lasted, guys. I lasted the whole time. But uh, I'll see you guys around for another Let's Play. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Scared ya! Uh, that's enough scares for one Let's Play.